Hello, hi, and welcome back to our 13th Wellness Wednesday here at Spine Rehab Specialist. Again, I'm Earl Hayden, one of the physical therapists here, joined again by Chris McMillan, our head technician, and he's gonna help me demonstrate some things that we can do to treat a common, uh, common condition that we might see called jumper's knee, also known as runner's knee. Now that um, people are kind of getting out and about, being more active, running outside, or maybe doing some team sports, this is something you might come across. We're getting used to doing more explosive types of activities. And this is something you can do to prevent uh, developing this and also um, to try to treat it if you do develop this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use a foam roll to try to get these quad muscles to relax. So we use these a lot when we're running and jumping. So they get overloaded at times, which puts pressure on the front of the knee and this tendon. So Chris is gonna go, go ahead and get down on top of this roller. He's gonna lie on top of it on the thighs, okay? So he's gonna be on his elbows, like in a plank position. Hips are gonna stay up and he's gonna push himself back and forth using his arms. So what we're gonna see, he's gonna just kind of go up back and forth across his thighs from his knee to his hips, not going over the knee joint. If he finds a tight spot, he can kind of sit on there and kind of massage that a little bit just by bending the knee on that tight side. And we're gonna do this as many times as it takes for that muscle to relax. You don't have to do this for a long time. Two or three minutes should be good for most people. A lot of things we see with this condition is the quad muscles, um, they end up, yeah, they're putting a lot of pressure on the tendons there, so they are not used to being stressed, they're resisting that. So we've gotta try to loosen that up just a little bit more. So Chris is gonna do a little half kneeling stretch for the front of these muscles here. So he's gonna be in a half kneel position, you have one, have a nice cushion, so you're not putting too much pressure on that tendon. He's gonna roll his hips backwards, we're not slap, uh, arched right here, we're kind of slumping that low back a bit and then we're going to gently push the hips forward from that position we should feel a good stretch right here all the way down the front of the thigh from the top of the hips down um, to add a little bit more flavor to this to really get into that stretch he could try actively bending that knee so by doing that we're using the hamstrings to bend the knee but also try to relax that quad muscle a lot more once it's really loose and it's less resistant to stretch we can work on bringing the foot up on top of a chair okay and then the same position for the hips you don't want to lose that arch all right that little slump that's really going to put a nasty stretch on that but you stay there long enough it's really going to get that muscle to relax a little bit more so it's um it just tolerates being loaded a little bit easier all right the next exercise we're going to do is a hip thrust so we've kind of stressed these uh these muscles out but a lot of things we see with people who develop jumpers or runner's knee is they're spending a lot of time doing so many exercises here that they forget to train the backside hamstrings and glutes so one of the best exercises we can do for this is hip thrust so chris is over here he's on the edge of the table this is right below the edge of his shoulder blades he's keeping his hips rolled back and then he's going to bridge up hold that for a nice five to ten seconds and then from there, we're gonna bring the hips down, go down, go down, go down, go down, more, 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 more. You notice he's keeping his toes pulled up. That's gonna help him engage the glutes more. The towel here is to help cradle the head because we wanna keep that neck tucked, but for some people, this irritates the neck. So if you just allow the head to be relaxed into that towel, that tends to uh, reduce a lot of that neck irritation. So about 10, 50 reps should be good for most people. All right, we're, so we're almost done. The next thing we have to do after stretching everything out and strengthening the backside is we have to get these quad muscles ready to work. So one thing we can do is a step down exercise, okay? So Chris is gonna keep these quad muscles super tight, just bracing hard and lowering himself down slow. Things we're looking for is that the knee is not going inwards. We're trying to keep that tracking over the foot. So doing this, is loading up this muscle, but definitely it's stretching out that that patella tendon right over here. And we're getting it used to stress again. So we do this, this should help relax things a little bit more. Okay. The last exercise is more advanced and it's probably best to do this with someone helping you out. But if you do have someone, then the next exercise we're gonna is called a reverse Nordic curl. So Chris is in a kneeling position on a nice thick cushion and he's going to just lean back, keep the hips nice and straight. He's going to lean back, lean back, lean back as far as he can. And I'm here to catch him because this isn't a trust fall situation. Okay. And the goal is to go back as far as we can, stretching out those quad muscles and loading them up, getting them used to being worked again. 
once we're strong enough, we should be able to do this without any assistance. And Chris has pretty strong quads already because I'm not even touching them right now. So good job, dude. Thank you. All right. All right, so those are five different things we can do to treat runners or jumpers knee. Again, if you're having problems with this, uh, try these exercises. And if you're still having problems with this, uh, definitely come by and see one of our physical therapists. We do different things. Maybe we have to do ultrasound, dry needling, some soft tissue work and really get in there. Maybe we have to do some ultrasound imaging to find out what exactly is going on with the tendon. Maybe something is breaking down. But wherever it is, here at Spina Rehab Specialist, we can definitely help you out. And as always, join us every Wednesday for another set of exercises here on Wellness Wednesdays.